Okay, here we have this device that we are going to be able to recover in a very easy and simple way. In this video tutorial what we are going to do is watch the video tutorial step by step to the end to be able to solve what this problem is. Since our device has a screen lock, also has EH that allows us to access also what another thing I want to tell you is. When we are going to turn it off it also asks us what that lock is and finally. Also previously we could enter when we pressed the power button. Volume down button at the same time and touch the screen and we saw that. Our device restarted we released the volume down button. We held the volume up when it showed what was the logo of our phone we released the power button so we could enter. Previously recovery mode. But this is not working anymore. So we are going to explain a totally updated method. That we are not going to use the PC either. In this video tutorial we are not going to use the PC to be able to recover our device. It is a method totally without a PC. What are we going to do? Well, EH, for that to be able to operate our phone, we are going to use what is another additional device and we are going to use what is a USB-C cable. What is the USB-C cable when we buy our phone it comes? To us with a USB-C cable, the new ones always, the updated phones already come with this cable and what we are going to do is use another additional phone, we are going to connect it, we connect it and then we connect it to this one. We are going to see if it recognizes it as charging, if it recognizes the other one as charging. What you are going to do is flip the connector, you are going to flip it if it still appears. Then what you are going to do is change what the cable is. That one passes it to this one and this one passes it to that one. Let's see, it still recognizes it, go and flip again. Now yes, as you can see this phone is already charging. Now what we are going to do is the same process. We press the power button, volume down button at the same time. We touch the screen to see when the phone restarts, when it restarts we release. We release the volume down button while holding the volume up button. We wait for the screen it turns off several times. But when we have the logo here of Samsung, we are going to release the power button. We are going to wait, we count 5 seconds, we release the power button. Holding the volume up so. We will be able to enter what is to that recovery mode. When we enter recovery mode we can disconnect it. Now what we are going to do is go where it says wipe data factory reset with power. We go down and give it where it says factory data reset. Now what we are going to do is wait for it to restart. And we are going to select the first option that says reboot system no. This is for our phone to restart. Now what we are going to wait is for our phone to restart completely and what we are going to do is be able to configure it. But let's say that you are left with the Google account. We already explained what we are going to do to be able to correct those errors. That's why we always, we recommend watching the video tutorial step by step until the end so we can solve what this problem is. Well our device has already restarted, what we are going to do is be able to configure it. But let's say that if you get what this little padlock is that it appears there in the upper left corner because it has what is the Google account. The security account. For that we will leave you a video tutorial, a method in the description of the video and in the comments.